Hey there, so in this video, I'm going to be looking at the tax treatment of cryptocurrency for income tax purposes. Now, it's the new year, so uh, as we're all kind of getting our receipts and uh, and forms all ready for, uh, for the 2019 taxation year, I just thought I'd, I'd share this video and uh, share this resource with you just maybe to help you out if, if you if you don't already know about it so yeah it's uh i'm gonna i've already highlighted some key points in this article or this uh in this guide and uh i'm just gonna go over those briefly but what i would suggest is to actually go to this guide and have a read uh, and read up on it yourself i'll leave a link down below on uh, where you can check this out but yeah more or less if we look here it says that the cra treats cryptocurrency like a commodity for purposes of the income tax act so basically it can be taxed as either a business income or as a capital gain gain depending on the circumstances so anytime you uh, sell you you get it and then you sell it it there's a taxable event uh, right there. And it's saying that if you hold uh, different types of crypto, it's uh, each one is considered to be different and uh, must be valued separately. So example, Bitcoin is different from Litecoin, which is kind of obvious, but uh, some people might group crypto together, but for each each coin that you own, it's uh, there's some sort of tax event uh, on that particular crypto that you own. And that's like the same thing as with stocks, right? So it, let's just say you own the S&P 500, it's gonna be uh, different on uh, with the TSX if you own the index of that. So here is a part where it looks at, is it business income or capital gain? Now the difference is with, uh, because of how it's taxed, there are different deductions or uh, there are different ways that it's taxed. So example, if it's a business income, you can obviously, obviously expense some things against that uh, income that you've made on the Bitcoin or crypto. Whereas if it's a capital gain, you can't really deduct anything. Uh, you just have to uh, pay taxes on 50% of your gains. So that's how uh, capital gains are taxed in Canada, only 50% of it is taxed. So let's just say you made $100 on, on selling Bitcoin, uh, then only 50% of that would be taxed at your tax rate. So let's take a look here. If it's a business, if it's considered business income, then basically uh, these are some, some of the ways that you can look at it and see if this matches up with what you're doing. But yeah, if you're carrying on activity for commercial reasons or you know you undertake activities in a business-like manner, uh, you promote a product or service, or you show that you intend to make a profit, right? Even if you are unlikely to do so in the short term, that's kind of more so business income. And it gives you examples here. So mining, trading, or ex using exchanges, I guess, right? Or if you have uh, eight of uh, those Bitcoin ATMs, so here it, it says how you should report. You should either report as uh, income or capital gain. But basically this part here, it says if you're disposing your uh, cryptocurrency and it's a part of a business, the profits you make on the disposition or the sale of, of it are considered business income and it's not a capital gain. Uh, buying a cryptocurrency with the intention of selling it for a profit may be treated as business income even if it's an isolated incident because it could be considered an adventure or uh, or concern in the nature of trade. So, I mean, if you're trading, that uh, that could also be considered business income. Um, you know, that's a very, it, it's case by case, I would say, because it, it depends on your frequency, the size of it, um, you know, and so on and so forth. There's so many factors, but here it says, in, if the sale of a cryptocurrency does not constitute carrying on a business and the amount of it sells for more than the original purchase price or its adjusted cost base, then the taxpayer payer has realized a capital gain. Again, this part here, this last part, uh, the it might be treated as business income. You, you need to be careful about that because 
uh, I did read this one story or this one uh, article about how someone had to pay uh, someone was trading in their TFSA and uh, they made lots of money but they ended up having to pay uh, pay taxes on it even though it was in their TFSA because the government was like oh no that's actually uh, business income and your TFSA is not uh, it's not meant for business income so uh, yeah this part here is it's kind of tricky it's kind of uh, I, it's kind of gray, it's gray area. So just double check with your accountant on that. And uh, then they give some different examples here on what, uh, on whether it's business income or uh, capital gain or so on and so forth. And then here, what I found interesting about this part is that because crypto mining is taxable, they do say that uh, if it's for a hobby, then that might be different, but it's case by case, right? So it says uh, cryptocurrency miners is different depending on whether their mining activities are a personal activity or a business activity. Okay, so that's kind of interesting. I obviously, if you've got just like one ASIC miner running, that's probably just for no, you're you're doing it as a hobby. But if you've rented out a space and you got hundreds of ASICs there, and you're um, and you're setting up security, you know, that's that's kind of hard to say it's a hobby. So uh, just be a little bit cautious of that. And um, yeah, here's just some tips on what you should do if you are, uh, I guess, mining or you're trading or so on and so forth. But yeah, anyways, uh, this is just a brief sort of highlight or a brief uh, introduction of uh, how Canada looks at crypto for tax purposes. But yeah, anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up or a comment or share it if you think others would find value from it. And uh, yeah, other than that, I hope to see you in my next video. Bye for now.